Hey guys, welcome back to Kay and Tyler's Bees. Today we're getting into the bee medalla hive. Um, my intent today is to make sure that the comb is to the correct orientation. They'll build it to gravity so that way it troughs upwards. When we did the transfer, I wanted to make sure that we're not uh, putting some of our comb in upside down uh, where it's going to be unusable for the bees for the winter. So that would make all of my transfer process mute for them to get through winter easier. If they're not to the correct orientation, the bees won't use the cells for uh, nectar storage or for brood or pollen. They might use it for pollen. But all those are resources that they need to make it through winter. That's what my goal is, is to get in here and make sure that they're going to have what they need and everything that I can to make it through winter. We're in crunch time right now. Everything that they get is going to be absolutely crucial for them to make it through winter. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break open the hive. I'm gonna be wearing my bee suit because I don't know what they're gonna be like. When I shot this video, it was over a week ago now. It was cold, 73 degrees. It was cloudy and it was just about raining. Bees need 93 degrees to rear their brood. While I'm in there, everything that I'm doing is going to break up their microclimate that they have set up inside of this hive so that way they can do what they need to do. So I'm only going to try to get through there real quick to make sure that I'm not disrupting that uh, temperature too much or for too long. Everything that I do is, is again going to disrupt what they have set up so that way they can live. Anything that I do that's outside of that is really going to hinder them from winter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break in, start on the far side, work our way back towards the front, maybe have a little bit of fun looking at what's inside. All right, I'm going to start on the far side of the hive. It should be the last that they start to build up. Um, beyond that, I'm hoping that they don't really have anything built in here. I'll have a inside the hive feeder um, just like we have over on this side coming in later this week but my hope is they haven't started building this much but they have <laughs> so they've built this uh, starting pretty well already don't know how much you can see but there's not too many workers on here so I'm gonna go ahead and just set it aside I can feel the temperature difference inside versus outside already that's uh really looking some like some real nice yeah there's a chain there nicely built comb i'm gonna set that one right off on the side This is one of the frames that I was worried about uh, being in here wrong. I'm gonna give them a little bit of smoke. Not that they're being too unruly or anything, but it never hurts to make sure that they're out of my way. It's pretty windy. This ain't gonna be pretty. All right, so this frame yeah, I put it in here sideways. I know I did. But they have brood in here. It's cat brood. And this is all old brood left in this frame. This frame is the proper way around. It's going to be um, angled at the correct direction. This, I'm not positive that they're going to continue to use, but if you can see, there's a couple of bees that have their heads dunked in there pretty deep. That might not be all bad. This frame is definitely in here sideways, but they've connected it to the bottom bar support or the side support. Nope, the bottom bar support because this was a sidebar and this was the top bar. So they've connected that, which is just fine. I'm slightly surprised they haven't started building any comb off to the sides, but this is all nice capped honey. All brood. It's 
some old capped honey and nectar or um, yeah honey nectar brood I'm gonna flip this back around move over to the next one keep moving that seems for now that they're going to use it that's got some nice heat coming off of it all right I'm gonna show you what I can see first more brood and I'm not seeing anything over here but that should be a top bar that was the top bar so this is all the right way around They're connected in between them oh yep they have bridged in between that's perfect that's exactly what I wanted to see in my last video I had shown that some of these were split or had said that some of these were split but that's one this is all bridged nicely. This, I think they're going to continue to use as B space to get between one frame and the next. Uh, okay, which way did I pull this out? Was it this way? Buddy, good question. <laughs> I think Maybe it was this way. Maybe the top of them to show which way is right and left. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I got a Sharpie here. What I'm going to do is just go along the outside. All of these with this Sharpie on the outside will be that direction. I'm also doing this on the other colony. That was our swarm hive. So far, everything looks great in here. Um, just not entirely sure that everything's done properly. I'm really, again, surprised they haven't started building too much of that on the bottom. So over on this side, I'm seeing what looks like all nectar. But again, it's hard to really hard to tell without the sun being glaring in our faces. This side also, they're filling in everything they can with nectar. going to make sure that they're going to use what we did. If not, then we only have one other option, and that'll be to re-add them to another hive. So they're bridging. And it looks like they are using this side. But if you look over here, that'll give you a nice cross section. So here you can see the angle that the comb is supposed to be at. And that's what I'm checking for. Just checking to make sure that everything is the right way around. This time of year, this is considered an extremely weak hive. But it looks like we got nice frame of cat brood over here. Some spotty or some spots where they are um, it looks like the queen hasn't laid but everything on this other side over here everything on this side that doesn't have a cat brood cell um, is nectar and right there is a bee coming out of its larval state. Pick that back up because the root cell needs to be 90. It is 73 out today. Alright. I'm going to start with what I can see. More cap brood, cap honey, empty space. Looks like it's all filled with nectar. A um, couple of larva cells. Let me check that again. And the light. Yep, those are larva. Uh, that is not nectar that's in here. This is a lot of larva. So we do still have somebody laying. 
a couple more days we'll be able to tell you whether or not that's drone cell if it's drone cell then uh we might have a plane worker not looking for the queen i see that there's larva which means in the past three days somebody was laying eggs in here last conversion cell I'm going to start with what I can see. Resources. This looks to be, from the lighting that we can see, this looks to be just nectar storing area. Yeah, that's nectar. And there is... A lot of uncapped honey up here yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in place because we didn't expect or I wasn't planning on being in here very long today and I'm hoping to be able to for once stick to what I had planned. This one was just a foundation just had beeswax foundation on it but since we've checked every frame in here so far, may as well leave it to not just the last one. There are a lot of bees on this frame, which means that they're drawing it out. And they have drawn it out. This is almost entirely drawn. And the bees seem to be loving this space. I do like this beeswax foundation. They're bringing in resources, they're bringing in nectar, they're laying eggs. Man, I would think that this cell would be full of eggs by now. All right, that's gonna be it for this hive. We're gonna go ahead and edit this par portion out and close them up, get these bees out of here. We're gonna brush them out and put this hive or frame back in. I'm gonna end the video right here. I was originally intending to do both hives in this video, but time constraints I couldn't get it all done in one video so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here as it is tune in next week we're gonna see uh, the swarm swarm uh, how we dealt with the comb issues that we had inside thanks for watching leave a comment in the comment section down below uh, leave a thumbs up if you like this video and you want to see more content subscribe to our channel if you want to see and uh, go along with us as we evolve with our beekeeping Thank you for watching, guys.